Hey everyone, I'm Xunani. Welcome to my new video. Today I will share an idea with you. If you love to draw as much as you can, but you have very little free time, how could that work? In the last weeks I struggled with my free time a lot and I began to make sketchbook spreads with small individual paintings. So I'm able to draw and paint one little piece a day or perhaps two if I have enough time. I can prepare the pages before what is also a lot of fun for me. And in the end I feel good because I created a finished piece in my sketchbook even if it's a very small one. This is the spread we start working on today. I will use watercolors because I want to test out a new half pen I bought. You can choose the medium you feel comfortable with. What we want is have a good time in our sketchbooks because time is a precious thing. I also will use colored pencils. You can use also markers or pastels, whatever you want. Here on this spread, for example, I used watercolors, aqua markers in three different colored pencils and acrylic markers. Use whatever you want. So, it's time to get started. My first step is to define the sizes of my mini artworks in painting a background layer. I'm using different supplies for that. Regularly I use different kinds of watercolors, gouache, inks or my Caranda Schneekolor 2. Today I'm using my Schminke Hoverdam, especially my new Perilene Violet to test it out. I had no time to use it yet. So beautiful, isn't it? This is a good way to test out new paints or to use up old paints or if you have leftovers in any of your mixing palettes, use them. As you can see, I painted a few small backgrounds and this step is also a lot of fun for me. Sometimes I have only time to create these backgrounds and then the pages are prepared for another day. And it's not difficult. I just played around, created different textures without any plan. You also could create plant backgrounds for mini landscapes or define your first layer more than I did. Everything is allowed. I could leave it like that, but I wanted to have a few leaves here and there to have a theme for that spread that all fits together in the end, although I would paint every little piece on another day. To have a good looking spread in the end, but that's not necessary. The colors I used here were the Perilane Violet, Lemon Yellow and Golden Brown.
So now you could start with one of them, which inspires you most. Pick one and start with the supplies you love. It takes me perhaps 20 minutes from now to a finished little picture. You could afford more time in it, if you have the time, of course. The good thing is, even if you have time for two or three of them, you can stop and come back another day to continue on that page. I picked a few colored pencils with I thought they will be nice here and start with my first little artwork. What I often do is to prepare those spreads if I want to travel for a weekend or if I go to meet some friends, pack your sketchbook and if you feel to draw a bit, you can work on one of these little pictures. So you don't have to take, for example, watercolors with you, only the handful of colored pencils, like in my case. And so I can start immediately. Also, when I have to wait somewhere at the doctor's place or something like this. For me, it's so practical. Right now, drawing and painting is my place where I can get some peace and quiet for my brain every day. So I started with this technique that I'm able to get my dose of painting every day in an easy way. Perhaps you also need to create every day? Then this could be also the right thing for you. I have my work, two kids, a house and a garden, which needs my attention too. It's so necessary for me to sit down if I have a short amount of time and paint a small, nice thing. After that, I feel more me again. And I tell you something, these pages with these little thumbnails are gold. If I have more time and I would like to paint something bigger, but I have no idea what I could paint, I flip through the sketchbook pages and there is always one of them which inspires me for a bigger piece of art. It's like an ideas collection. Some of them I like so much that I thought about making mini prints or stickers out of them. These pages are pure treasures. And another benefit is, if you find the time to create something almost every day, you, you don't have to do it every day, only if you are inspired, but it's a lot easier to start if you have these well-prepared pages, you improve your skills and boost your creativity.
Today I only get the right page done. The left one I will do tomorrow. Also a good idea is to take a sketchbook or thinner booklet and prepare more or all pages with backgrounds in different color schemes and take this as your every time takeaway book which is always in your bag so you can use it whenever you feel like it and you don't have to think on it before you leaving your house. Oh, I have a lot of ideas in my head right now, which possibilities that could bring. If one of the little pictures is not like you wanted it to be or you don't like it, it's not bad. First, we are not able to create a masterpiece every time we take a pencil in our hands. And second, on this spread, the little paintings come together to a whole impression. It will be a good-looking spread in the end, which brings you joy. Please write in the comments if you also have a special technique or routine or idea, if you have only little time, like me sometimes, which helps you to make art regularly anyways. That would be cool to know. Thank you so much for hanging around with me so long. I hope you enjoyed watching this video like I did making it. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you like my content. You can also click on the little bell to be informed about new videos. All this is a big support for this channel. So let's have a look at the close-ups together 
and have an awesome day. Yours, Xunan. <laughs>